All right, this is going to be a quick tale of um, two Palomar 300A. It's just a chassis. Um, this one here I picked up recently off eBay, and uh, I already recapped it. And um, it has some bad diodes in it. Where I got them diodes? There we go. That was the diode that was in it. It's a bridge configuration. This one here, and actually um, a bridge rectifier, which is one um, circuit, you know, four diodes on one circuit fit right across here. Um, actually, I got a bridge somewhere. Let's see. I should have had this before I started the video. Neon bridges. Yeah. Some of my parts. Anyway, that's a bridge rectifier. That's only a 600 volt that I had, and that's why I didn't replace it. But anyway, this bridge rectifier goes right there in those four holes vertically to um, that originally uh, it didn't come with single diodes. But since I didn't have a 1,000 volt bridge and I didn't feel like ordering one and waiting, and I got plenty of... Um, new thousand volt six amp diodes and this bridge is originally either one amp or I think you can even get a four amp but those diodes that I uh, already had and put in there are heavier and stronger it's just I had to wire them in there but anyway the one that uses a bridge which was an originally look like that is the uh, high voltage power supply um, the bigger transformer and then this is a customers a guy talked me into working on one and I'm like well I got the parts and Palomar 380's A's are like candy to me fixing them so um, anyway uh, that's what I got for the customers um, old caps um, and if you notice well they wired these um, radio caps in radio caps have both the leads coming off one side like the bottom well not the side out the bottom and actual caps have one on one side and one on the other so they're like lengthwise and radios again have both the um, connections coming off or the leads coming off of um, off the bottom so that's the difference between a um, a radio here and an actual and radios here are cheaper and easier to find and very common so a lot of times people will buy um, radios because you know like I just said they're cheaper and easier to find but hence if you do you have to wire them in something like somebody did here you know they got one lead wired uh, right into the board correctly and then they take the other lead and they run a jumper wire you know that's bad that they spliced a jumper couldn't have made a long jumper and run a jumper over to here whereas you can see here using the correct actual capacitor on the one that I did I replaced the uh, originals here I always replace the cap you know uh, these got long leads so it's no jumpers just you know straight into the original holes no rewiring it's the same with these uh, caps here. This is a low voltage capacitor, um, actual, and another one over here for the bias. And so once I get dive into this one, I'm going to replace those capacitors and everything looks good. And once I do, I'm going to fire these uh, two 300As up, one of mine. And I got a high voltage power supply for it, so I'm kind of interesting to see what this one would do. First one I got that was originally a high voltage to go with the power supply, and then this is a customer's a low voltage, a nice looking one. So hopefully we'll get it going for them pretty soon. So, and if you notice, neither one of these has the relay um, to turn the high voltage off when it's not keyed up or in standby. So these 300 A's if the tube has a glitch or going to thermal runaway or something they can um, blow smoke and short things out 
even in standby not key down standby whatever because the high voltage is on the tubes at all times and it's relying on this bias board over here to um, cut the uh, tube conduction on and off um, where um, a lot of models they added a relay um, some you see these pink jumpers here some models had the uh, relay right on the board where you know where these jumpers peak jumpers are and some other models had the uh, relay mounted over in this area over here to turn the high voltage on and off only when you key down therefore when you're in standby you could leave it on for forever and not worry about the um, high voltage uh, shorting anything out or the thing going up in smoke even though it's in standby um, I think that's all I wanted to go through with this one. Oh, I guess one more thing. Um, if you got one, tighten up these uh, screws. You know, it's, they're using these screw terminals for the ground, and they get loose. And on some of them, the standoff under here was like uh, paper or cardboard. So the tightener you tighten it, the more it just pulled in that cardboard so you can never get a firm grip. So if yours is doing that, replace these standoffs that, you know, lift the board off the, um, off the chassis. Um, if you got one where those are getting, you know, rough and smashed in and you can't tighten these screws very well, um, just replace these standoffs so you can get a good ground. That's very important, so... That's going to be it on these 300 A's for today. We'll make another video once we get them going and, uh, and all that. But just wanted to show that. Alright, bye.